What's going on? It's WBLS TV with your radio love, Deja Vu. And you know, we always play the great music, but when we have great artists in studio, that takes us to the next level. And this next young lady who's hanging out with me is going to the next level. You've seen her on her YouTube shows, but now she's taking it to the airwaves with her hit, Medicine. Let's say what's up to my girl, Queen Nyja. What's good? What's good, boo? What's good, boo? <laughs> We're here talking about food. But no, let's talk about Starving. this music. I know, right? Don't, don't. Get me there. I'm getting no. my sticky fingers. Right. She wants some sticky fingers. I have not had this. What is so special about sticky fingers? Let's talk. Man, I don't know. It's it's they sauce that they put on there. You know, hold on. We're gonna need a uh we're gonna need a brand deal for right? sticky okay. fingers. This is endorsement money. Come on now. Okay. <laughs> But they sauce is really good and they fries and stuff. All right, cool. Well, listen, your music is really good. So much so, we were looking at some video things that you've had, millions and millions of views. Talk to us about this journey with medicine because I know it started from a personal story. Yeah, it definitely did. It started from um, YouTube, my platform, and it was just like I had my whole relationship on social media because that was do that's what we were doing together. We had a couples channel. Mm -hmm. So we would do like we would vlog our daily lives, prank each other, do challenges and things like that. And people just they grew to love us. We built the brand together and, um, you know, things went left because yes. sometimes when you're young, you know, you do things, you cheat. And girl, they do when they old too. Yeah. Yeah. I know y'all <laughs> doing y'all old too. But I'm saying especially when you're young, though, because like and then when you've been in a relationship for so long. So anyway, yeah, it was cheating going on. Basically, uh. He got exposed for it, and, mm -hmm. you know, uh, I stayed the first time. Second time, it happened. It wasn't, like, on social media, but I left, and so people were confused because they were like, I thought you stayed, and I thought you was working it out, but mm -hmm. I left, so they thought I just left, like, last minute or out of nowhere, but I didn't want to tell. They asked me why. I didn't want to tell them why because I didn't want to feel stupid. So you never feel stupid. Girl, life is all about but lessons. I, but, I, but I had already felt stupid because I stayed the first time. And so then basically they was, you know, asked what was going on, didn't want to tell it. And then basically I wrote medicine. Mm. I told them, I was like, listen, I'll just write a song for y'all since y'all want to know. And that video just described the whole thing, too. Yeah. But, well, okay, listen, the video is what I wanted to do, okay? I didn't really do it. <laughs> I, I didn't do that. <laughs> You got to break it down. I got a little, you know, I, I got a heart, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but that song just, you said you released it um, December 31st, yeah. 2017. Definitely. And then it just blew up. Yeah. Like somebody actually took my song. Excuse me? Put it, no, somebody took my song, put it on, um, from YouTube, put it on Apple Music, start getting paid for my song. Are you serious? How in the world could they do that? Yeah. But the thing is though, like, I'm kind of happy that happened. That's how it blew up. And then I got it over to my, my name and everything's fixed wow. now, but but I mean, so you know how like bad stuff happens. You think it's for the bad, but really it's for the good. It all works together for the good. Yeah. Yeah. So you got medicine out. I heard you're working on this EP. So medicine was more from the personal perspective of your relationship. What are the songs that we're going to have on the EP? Actually, the EP, the whole EP. First of all, I wrote, I wrote, I write all my music. So everything I write come from a personal experience, um, whether it's talking about my son, somebody I'm in love with or a heartbreak, whatever. Basically, this EP, which is dropping the 27th, yes. will be like uh, an emotional journey you're going through with me. It's five songs, and I'm pretty sure when you get done with it, you'll you'll feel like you know me a little bit more. So, Was it therapeutic for you? Definitely. Yeah. I heard karma. Karma's dope, too. Yeah, karma. See, the thing is, well, karma, karma is a lot like medicine to me. Mm -hmm. You know, the other songs are different from those, but... It, it was just a follow-up of medicine. Like, you know, I wrote it right after medicine. So I'm like, I got to follow up with some. So they said that your music you used to just do only on YouTube. Now, you have to forgive me because I don't frequent on YouTube like, yeah, I, guess, that's like I should, right? But now, girl, I've been all up in your business. I've been yeah. like, <laughs> like, I almost felt like an intruder just going back looking at some of that stuff. So you started with the music on there, but what made you start the channel from the get-go and put all of your business out like that? Um, me and my ex were already going viral on Facebook and Instagram. So, like, like we was getting a lot of followers, though. But what were you doing? You just said, hey, hey let's just come put our We was just on taking there? cute pictures. Got no, we was taking cute pictures, doing cute videos, like dancing together, kissing, doing, you know, mm -hmm. couple goals stuff. Mm -hmm. And so people, um, we, we got a fan base from it on um on our Instagram, and then we was like, we still ain't making no money though. Like we famous, but we on social media, but we not making no money. Like we still in the same predicament. Right. So 
we figured out we could take our um, fan base to YouTube and actually start getting compensated for it. That is amazing. Yeah, but then instead of, uh, like, it, it just started to be, like, it was our only job, and we grew to love it, so. But you were able to produce it, and, and are you doing the editing and producing and stuff yourself, or do you I, have yeah. the team? No, I edit the videos myself. How long does it take for you to do all that? Like And make music? It, like, depends. Like, if, if you record, like, a 20-minute video, sit down, like, it's not gonna take that or take that long. Or if you re record footage from the whole day, mm -hmm. it might take maybe like forty five minutes to edit. But you really have to sit and like you gotta make sure you edit out what you want to edit out. Right, so it's time consuming. But but it's paid off. I saw yeah. that you got your mom a new car. Yeah, how amazing was that? Tell us about that experience. Um, I mean, I first of all, I watched my mom struggle. You know, growing up, I and my mom never had a new car. Aww. So like for me being able to do that, do that I'm sorry for me me being able to do that um I just felt like it was a it was a blessing from God and I mean it was amazing it was touching she was in there doing her little praise break yeah. and everything I love it so you were brought up in the church and you honed your skills in the church but we don't hear a lot of that will we see more stretching of your vocals on your EP because um you will um on the mama's hand song which is what I wrote to my son I do have more vocals on mm -hmm. there. Yeah, I will be up, definitely be able to see it. I mean, and then uh, I just posted a video because lately I have been like, since I've been singing like uh, songs that are like vibey, mm -hmm. I ain't been really singing like church music mm -hmm. or like just songs to project my voice. So I I had to remind them and put a put a video up. What video did you put up? I was singing um the Jennifer. Jennifer, Jennifer Hudson. Jennifer Hudson. I was gonna say Jennifer Holiday, but Jennifer, Jennifer Hudson. Holiday, yeah, she's the originator. But Jennifer yeah, Hudson, yes. I was gonna, I was gonna sing that. Um, I mean, I, I sung that. I posted it, and then it ended up on the shade room. So. Girl, I saw it. I was like, hold up, let me see. I, yeah. didn't, I didn't know what you that were was, working with. That I was, was sleeping. That was last year. I was getting my hair dyed in the kitchen. I just decided to sing on live. So. And you just hit notes. You weren't even. It was just like effortless. You're like, and I am. You want to give us yeah. a little taste? Come on, come on. And I am telling no. And I am telling you, I'm not going. You're the best man I'll ever know. Oh wait, I'm in a lower key, <laughs> girl. But I still, you know, what I'm saying I still got a little. Look, song. that was amazing there. Thank you. You are super talented. All right, so future for Queen Nyja. We know you have the EP dropping on the 27th, mm -hmm. and you're still doing your YouTube stuff. But now you have your new boo on there. Do you feel my? What you say, my new? Your new boo. You know. Uh, <laughs> uh -huh. Do you feel like? Um, I don't know. I just felt. I want. I wanted you to be. I said, oh, I don't want her to have everything on here. I don't know. What do you think? Um. Best believe that everything like is a. Uh, how can I say this? Everything is a uh, strategize. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? We, yes. we think about a lot before we do something. Of course, you're not gonna post a video if like we really don't genuinely mean it or if it's gonna harm us. Mm -hmm. But um, we we being smart. A lot of things people don't know. You know. Right. So I'm we. You know a lot. Keep some to yourself. Definitely <laughs> a lot of stuff is being kept private. But you know that's that's just how it is. Now I learned my lesson. So. Right. But that's what got you to where you are now, too, that exposure. And you have so many loyal followers. So what do you plan to do uh, following this EP? Are you doing any acting, any more videos? I'm working TV? on my album mm -hmm. because the EP is just a mini version of an album. Of so I got to work on the whole thing. Um, And actually, um, I am, I'm not going to confirm anything right now, but I am thinking about putting something together about, you know, like a, a, a show. That people could see what's going on behind the scenes. Oh, that would be super dope. So we can really get a, a better scope. I still, like I said, I already feel like I'm intruding in your life and everything. Yeah. But it's very interesting. Even just the basic stuff I was watching you. Yeah, I just had some soul food. I'm like, okay, well, what yeah. did you eat? <laughs> yeah, like, I mean, people, like, they, they, even though I feel like it may be born to them, they really, like, like it. So yes. I'm like, oh, okay, I got to keep this up. And you talk about personal things. I think that's what people can relate to. Because yeah. we're all flawed, but we see you and we root for you. It's bittersweet, though, talking about being transparent. It's very bittersweet sweet because like you got those people that like like you that's like you appreciate it but then you got those people who use it against you mm. like or they be like oh no nah, you ain't you ain't do that because of that you did because of, like <sighs> it's Girl. bittersweet but i do have more lovers than i have haters so i really appreciate that all right and keep pushing through what's the name of the ep queen Naja. 
right. I'm bringing myself out. It's self-titled. So. Love it. Love it. Well, thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you. And tell everybody how we can reach you if we don't, if you don't watch the YouTube already. Tell us how we can get you. Uh, Queen, sorry, let me look at the camera. Queen Naja, that's Q-U-E-E-N-N-A-I-J-A. That's on all platforms. That's Twitter, Instagram, YouTube. You name it. All right. Hey, can you come back and do a show for us? For sure. We're going to put that down for real. Make sure you get that money. It's WBLS TV. Thanks for stopping by.